to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be all of my newborn must-haves. I figured it was probably time to sit down and film this video because my baby is already eight months. She's getting so big, so fast. So before I share all of my must-haves with you guys, everybody's must-haves for their newborn baby is going to be different because every parenting journey is different, every baby is different. Honestly, you don't really need all that much for a newborn, but all of these products that I put together today for you guys just made my life as a mom a lot easier so i'm really excited to share them with you guys everything will be linked down below in the description as always with all that being said let's go ahead and jump into this video so i'm not going to share these in any particular order i'm going to kind of just like go down my list here that i have on my phone so my first must have that i want to share with you guys is a haka I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the Hakka. They are everywhere. If you're not familiar with the Hakka, I highly recommend you go and watch my video because I did a full review on the Hakka. I shared some like tips and tricks how to use it. I shared how I created a stash using it. I even did like a demonstration using like a balloon, AKA my boob. So highly recommend you go and watch that if you're not familiar with the Hakka, but it is just so amazing especially for the newborn stage because if you are breastfeeding when you're first starting to do it in the newborn early stages your boobs are really leaky because your milk hasn't adjusted yet so the haka is really great to put it on the side that your baby isn't breastfeeding on so if your baby is breastfeeding on this side then you want to place the haka on the other side and what that haka is going to do is it's literally going to catch all of that letdown milk even if you're just collecting like one ounce in your haka you are golden because you can easily save that for another feeding for your baby so highly highly recommend it. it is so inexpensive too i believe it's around like 10 bucks if you get just the basic one which is the one that i have and it's great another must have is the boppy pillow i know there's tons of other like options as far as like breastfeeding pillows go but the reason why I always just go for the boppy pillow for my newborn babies is because I get a ton of use out of it. I don't just use it for the obvious reason for breastfeeding. I also use it as my baby grows. So I use it for tummy time because you can like prop your baby on their stomach on the boppy pillow, which is really nice for tummy time, especially if your baby doesn't like to just be flat out on the floor. Propping them on the bobby pillow can be really helpful. So I like using it for that. I also like using it for once you start, your baby starts getting old enough to where you can start to sit them up, but they're like still really wobbly when they first start doing it. I like to prop my babies in the center of the bobby pillow and use it as like a back support. Next up is burp cloths. The ones that I went with for Jade this time around for my, she's my youngest, if you're new here, she's my eight month old. The ones that I use for her are really inexpensive. I got them off of Amazon. For my other two girls, Layla and Aurora, I use burp cloths that I got from like Target, or like Carter's, just like other places like that. And the ones that I got this time around just do not compare. They are so much better than the other ones that I used previously. And the reason for that is because they weren't as absorbent as the ones that I'm using this time around, which meant that I wasn't going through like multiple burp cloths a day, even if my baby was like constantly spitting up or I was like wiping drool or I was like wiping breast milk, whatever it was. They were just absorbing that moisture so good. So I was like only using one burp cloth a day and then I would just get a new one the next day. My next must have is a milk snob nest. If you're not familiar with the milk snob nest, it is basically a baby lounger, kind of like the, what is it called? Dogata, I want to say. They basically do the same thing. They're just a baby lounger. I just want to say though, they are not intended for sleep, so you definitely don't want your baby like sleeping in the middle of the night, in the little baby lounge or anything like that because they're not recommended for that at all. So I know you're probably wondering why should I fork out that money if my baby can't even sleep in it. Well, for me, I loved having that baby lounger because like I said, Jade was my third baby, so I had two other kiddos running around the house and it was really nice just to be able to lay my baby in the baby lounger 
and I was able to like take her from room to room with me and no matter where I was going around the house she had that little lounger to lay in so it was just really nice for me it was really convenient to have her in that especially if I was like sitting on the floor playing with my toddler then i can have my baby right there in the lounger right there chilling especially during my early postpartum days where i was still bleeding still recovering i wasn't like doing that much around the house so i was kind of just like lounging in bed all day or i was on the couch watching netflix i had her in the baby lounger right there next to me so i knew she was good she was comfy so i got a ton of use out of it i think i use it like every single day for her first like three months i want to say so i got a ton of use out of mine this next one that i'm about to talk about is hands down my number one must have i literally recommend it to everybody you guys probably already know if you aren't new here it is the hatch rest baby sound machine it is my holy grail baby product even toddler product my other two kids are going on eight going on four and I have one in their room. We use it every single night. It is amazing. I've been using it since my babies were newborns. So a lot of use out of it. It is amazing. If you're not familiar with it, it is a sound machine, but it's amazing because it is also a nightlight. It has a ton of settings on it. You can make it like white, you can make it green, purple, literally all of the colors of the rainbow you can adjust the brightness on it you can make it dim for those nighttime feedings you can make it super bright if you want you can also change the sound on it or you can put no sound they have lullaby music on it they have rain they have wind they have ocean just so many different settings you can also do programs on it so really amazing highly recommend it definitely my number one must have next up is a diaper caddy they are so helpful i actually have three i keep one in the living room one in my older girl's room and one in my car they are so nice because let's be real i have a kikuru changing pad in my room which i am actually going to talk about in this video too because i do use it but let's be honest when your child has a poopy diaper pee diaper whatever it is when you have to change your baby's diaper you're not always every single time you're not always going to go into the nursery and change them sometimes you end up changing them on your bed sometimes you end up changing them on the couch sometimes you change them on their play mat it happens it's just the way it is at least for me i don't know if anybody else is like that but diaper changes literally happen all over the house especially because i have two other children to take care of so having a diaper caddy is nice that way whenever i have to change your diaper i literally just carry the diaper caddy with me from room to room i also keep one in my car like i said so i kind of keep like the same things diapers wipes a change of clothes ointment um i keep like a little sun hat um as your baby gets older you can change and add like sunscreen in there possibilities are endless but a diaper caddy is just so nice it also comes in handy too like whenever i know we are going to visit like family or something instead of like having to fill my diaper bag and stock it with all of the necessities that i may need i'll literally just grab the entire diaper caddy and just go to the family's house and i have everything contained in just that one little basket next up is swaddles now if you watched my videos when i was pregnant with my baby i raved about muslin swaddles i bought so many and i still love muslin swaddles i love like the material i love how they're so like lightweight and breathable they were my must-haves for my other two children they love them they use them but this time around like i said every single baby is different and they just didn't work for us she constantly would break out of them no matter how i swaddled her even if i did it you know very snug she still broke out. She always got her hands out of it. So muslin swaddles just did not work for me. The Velcro ones were the way to go. I got some off of Amazon. It was like a two pack. I love them. Amazing. They are just so easy. You don't even have to think about it. Next up is a play gym. Now I know you're thinking, why would a play gym be a newborn's must have? And I thought the same too because I didn't use a play gym like right off the bat with my other girls 
but this time around i used one when she was like a couple weeks old i want to say she was maybe like around like a month when i started using it so she was only like four weeks old and she loved it even though she wasn't able to like grab the toys yet she wasn't able to like swat at them yet she was still you know kind of just like laying around because she's a newborn baby looking at everything though she loved it it kept her entertained she just would look at all of the things that were dangling the play gym that i'm using for my baby is by the brand love every you guys know i love them i talk about them all the time i use other play gyms with my other children just like random ones that you can get at like walmart or target amazon just like you know like your standard baby play gym but the Love to Everyone honestly does not compare. It has like so many textures on it, so many like things that are good for sensory and you can use it like as your baby gets older because it can turn into like a fort. It is amazing, I love it. So what I did for my newborn baby is I bought that extra like black and white cards that you can get for the play gym and you can actually like clip them on the top of the play gym. That way, if your baby is like laying down, your baby can look up at the high contrast cards. So that's what I did for my newborn and it kept her entertained. She loved looking at the high contrast cards. It's another must have that um, I didn't put on this list, but I definitely would recommend getting high contrast cards for your newborn because it keeps them entertained. They like looking at it and it's just really good for their um, development. Next up is pacifiers. This one is definitely going to be different for every single baby. My first daughter, Layla, didn't even take a pacifier. I tried so, so many with her and she hated them. She always just stuck it right out and she did not like them at all. So this one is going to be different for every baby, but the one that my daughter absolutely loves, she still uses it and she's eight months. It is the Even Flow feeding balance stage one pacifier they have a stage two but the nipple is a lot different on that one so my daughter still does not like that one even though she's older so i definitely recommend the stage one pacifier the reason why i love these pacifiers is because of the nipple shape the nipple was developed with pediatric feeding specialists so the nipple is amazing especially if you have a breastfed baby the nipple shape is supposed to help your baby mimic the same like tongue and sucking motion that they make when they are breastfeeding next i want to talk about baby swings so the one that i have used for all of my babies is the ingenuity portable baby swing hopefully i said that right but it is their portable swing so it is on the smaller side it's literally so small it's probably like this high up off of the ground it is so tiny which is nice if you visit family a lot because it easily like folds up and you can take it in your car you can take it on the go it's honestly a really basic swing there's nothing fancy it just swings back and forth it has some sound on it you can adjust the speed on it too but there's nothing else really much to say about it it's just a basic little swing next up is a nursing cover slash car seat cover save yourself the trouble you don't have to go out and buy a separate nursing cover and then a car seat cover you can just buy a multi-use one the brand that i love is copper pearl it's amazing they're super stretchy their fabric is breathable you get so many uses out of it because it's not just for your newborn baby you can use it as a nursing cover you just throw it over your head nurse your baby you're good to go you can also stretch it over your car seat which is really nice especially in the newborn phase i don't know what it is but for some reason whenever people see like a newborn baby they just want to touch them automatically which is like oh no as your baby grows too you can also use the cover as a high chair cover so if you're going out in a restaurant you don't want your baby just sitting straight up in the high chair you can put the cover first and then place your baby in the high chair you can also use it as a shopping cart cover too which is really nice because it covers like most of the shopping cart where your baby sits that way your baby isn't like touching the metal shopping carts or like sucking on it none of that it just keeps it completely covered so definitely recommend the multi-use one you'll get a lot of use out of it next thing i'm going to talk about is a changing mat so i have a basic changing mat that is literally just a little foldable piece of fabric mat and then i have the kikuru changing pad 
I love both of them but for different reasons. So the Kikru changing pad, it sits on top of my dresser. I did not go out and buy like an actual changing station for my baby. I just bought the Kikru pad and I placed it on top of my dresser because my baby is in my room. I have the crib on the side of my bed. So I did like a bedside nursery. I do have a ton of videos on my channel if you guys wanna check out those of me like setting it up, kind of see like, how I did that for my newborn. So I have the Kikuru changing pad on top of my dresser. It's amazing, I love to use it. But let's be real, the Kikuru changing pad and changing pads like that are on the pricier side. Even though I love them and I would recommend them to you guys, that is a pricier item. I definitely would recommend you just at least go out and buy just the basic standard changing pads. You can get them for really inexpensive, or if you want, you can go the more pricier side and get the gather mats. Those are really nice too because they're so easily just to wipe down. But honestly, you only really need the cheapy one. I love it. I always keep one inside of my um, diaper caddies like I told you guys. So I keep one in the diaper caddy in the house and then I keep another one in the car. They are so nice though. I also have one in my diaper bag. So I don't know what else I can say. I mean, changing pads are just really nice because Diaper changes happen everywhere. My last must-haves for this video, and they are probably my favorite must-haves. I still use them all of the time. They are like near and dear to my heart. I just love them so much, and it is baby carriers. The two that I'm going to recommend to you guys is one, the Soli Baby Wrap, and two, the Wild Bird Ring Sling. I love both of them so I'm gonna kind of break it down for you guys why I love it and for like which stage so for me I started out using the solely baby wrap more so for the newborn stage and the reason for that is because the solely baby wrap is so easy to master I literally watched like one tutorial I watched myself in the mirror and I did it really quickly it can be a little tricky just because the Soli Baby Wrap is literally just one long piece of fabric. So it's kind of tricky if you're putting it on when you're going out in public because obviously you don't want that extra fabric to drag on the floor when you're trying to put your baby in. So a hack that I have for that is if you know you're going out of the house, you know you want a baby wear, put on the wrap inside of your house first and then just wear it while you're inside of the car. It's not uncomfortable at all because it's literally just a piece of fabric. So it's not going to be uncomfortable if you wear it in the car. It is actually very comfortable, which is why I highly recommend the Soli Baby Wrap. So if you plan on wearing it out in public and you haven't quite mastered it, definitely put it on before you leave the house. That way, whenever you get to your destination, it's already set up for your baby. You can easily take your baby out of the car, put them in the wrap, and you are good to go on your little outing with your baby. Another hack that I have is if you go out and about with your baby and you forget to put on that wrap inside of your house, just use your car space. What I mean by that is if you have like a big trunk or even like if you're just um, standing next to your car with the door open, place that extra fabric while you're trying to adjust your baby wrap and you're trying to put it on set down that extra fabric inside of your car. That way it's not dragging on the floor. So I've done both, they work for me. I am now a like pro rapper, I would say. I can easily do it without like watching myself in the mirror. That's another hack that I have for you guys if you are new to baby wearing. Watch yourself in the mirror as you are doing it. I did that all of the time. It really helped me to figure out and like see where I need to make adjustments. So that was very helpful. I personally love the Soli Baby Wrap more for the newborn stage, just because one, like I said, it is so easy to master. And the way your baby is placed on the Soli Baby Wrap is your baby is like against your chest right here in the middle of your chest. So I found that to be most comfortable for the newborn stage because they like to be super bundled and super like cozy on you. So I loved the solely baby wrap for the newborn stage. For around, I wanna say like around like four months is when I started gravitating more towards my wild bird ring sling. And the reason for that is because you can kind of do more of like a hip carry 
with a ring sling. So once your baby has head movement down and they're able to hold their head up more, when your baby is like more alert and they like to look around at their surroundings, I like the wild bird ring sling since it's more of a hip carry and your baby can easily like look outward versus being like placed against your chest. I will say though, the wild bird ring sling was very difficult to master. At least it was for me. I had to continuously watch tutorials over and over because it was just really tricky to get like a good placement and just to adjust it. But now that I have got it down, it is easily hands down my favorite i think it's more my favorite than the solely baby wrap but i still love that one just more so for the newborn stage so i definitely recommend both the solely baby wrap and the wild bird rink sling it kind of just depends on what you're looking for and the coos awake this is jade right in time to close out this video you want to say hi hi But anyways, guys, that is all of my newborn must-haves. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Links will be down below in the description, like I said. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to the Moran family. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>